Hello, everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to create a Gantt, Gantt chart, G-A-N-T-T -T chart. Um, I was doing this for a project and I needed this chart. So if you do need to use it for a project, I would definitely recommend monday.com um, because the other ones, it provides you a spreadsheet, which was a little bit complicated. And this is a lot easier. So sign on to monday.com and then you want to, with whatever Google or whatever you need, click workspace on the left-hand side, click add new board if you want, or maybe choose from templates. And then I click single, single project. So I select this one, okay, I already created one. And if you click on the third taskbar, it'll show you the chart. If you want to add more um, uh, sections like deliverable one, I named them deliverable one, and the activities, you want to go back to your main table, uh, click on the arrow button for new items, click new group, and then you're going to type in, for example, testing. And if you want, and then if you want to drag them, you click and hold and drag them wherever you'd like. And then, as you can see, we named it testing, right? So if I were to go to the chart, you are not going to see testing or my deliverable six because we did not set a date on there. So if you were to go to testing, for example, you need to put in the put in activity. So once this bar comes up. You can do it status, so stuck, done, or working on it, priority, priority, if you'd like to add that. And timeline, you need to set a date. So for example, the 24th, set dates, 24. Okay, I double clicked. Um, so a day set. And if you go back to the chart, it should be down here. Okay, so this is the basic. This is how you use the Gantt chart on monday.com. So I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.